I'm Rhonda. I'm Joni. I'm Diane. I'm Natalie. Natalie. Yeah. Claudine. Claudine. We have been great experience, but challenging. It was intense. That's what I wanted to see. But it's good. I and this was a very simple, hard experience, and I would I would definitely recommend it to to anyone because I really think that you have to find it yourself in order to get to get to get all the benefits of it. Several days wanted to go home. <laughs> I, I went through then I wanted to go home and then the next day I would find something that wanted me, made me want to stay even more. So it was really, really a, an amazing experience that I think is going to last for for a long time. So I'm Diane. You're Diane. And where are you from, Diane? I'm from Gig Harbor. Um, I found out about the Pashna from a friend of a friend. I knew that it was a demanding time schedule, but I had no idea that the direct experience was through your body. Quite an uh, awakening experience to feel anything. There, there have been days where I wanted this to be a 20-day course, and there have been days where I couldn't imagine why the hell I came back. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but overall, it's... It's a really wonderful experience just to, to be in touch with my body. Change is definitely the nature of the universe. And equilibrium is is the only way to go. Like it's gold. a process, right? Yeah, so you're, process. you're there. It looks like, you know, your face shows that it's working on you. <laughs> <laughs> and here is my dear <laughs> silent friend. <laughs> We're roommate for 10 days. And I just want to tell you a couple of things that you didn't know about Julie. Oh One, my gosh! She sings in the shower. <laughs> Even, Even though silent retreat, <laughs> she sings in the shower. And she. What room are you in? I I think next I, to you. I think I heard you. And she whistles in the shower. Oh, I'm she supposed to be silent. She didn't know oh she did it. God. But she also reminded me on two occasions. Um, to remember silence, one, we were walking back in the rain sharing an umbrella after the eighth night. I said, because we were sharing the umbrella, I said, can we talk now? And she goes, and I said, oh, one more day? So I'm talking in silent retreat and she's being silent. <laughs> we jump into our clothes because we're late and we throw on our boots, we throw on our jackets, so we race out the door at the same time. And after we step into our boots, I'm all ready to run to the meditation hall and she walks slowly with determination. And I went, oh, that's right. We're supposed to be in our bodies. <laughs> Not like chasing after them somewhere. And so that's Juliet. I got a message that I needed to come and be silent. And I was like, why don't you just go back? And then I said, no, someone needs to like make you sit, make you, make you, make you, and feed you. So then other friends said, why don't you do Vipassana? So I said, okay. And the dates were perfect with the time I wanted to come. So I didn't, I just came. I didn't know what I was in for, but I knew exactly somewhere, somehow, I was guided to be here. It's all meant to be, and yeah. you're all meant to be to like the two of us roommates, right? That's right. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> and I'm Rhonda, yeah. and I chose to come here. I actually have been thinking of it uh, since the fall, and I signed up in January wow. to come. And my husband took the the meditation course in Merritt. There's one in BC. Oh, good for you. Yes. Good for him. And uh, he told me I should come and do it, and I and I said, yeah, I think I really feel like I need it. Um, one other thing I really enjoyed about this place is the beautiful walking paths and the feet reflect on what you've just learned in the courses. So what, how would you recommend yes, it? Yes, I, I, I would recommend it for people. I wouldn't say they have to come and do it because I think that they have they they need to choose for themselves. That's my final thoughts. Okay, thank you so much.